Hello and welcome back. In some of our earlier videos, we learnt about the mechanisms of gene transcription and translation. These are the processes which allow RNA and proteins to be expressed from genes. In this video, we will be introduced to the topic of gene expression. We will learn about different types of gene products. Then, we'll look at how we can classify genes according to whether they are structural or regulatory, or whether they are constitutive or non-constitutive. Finally, we will have a look at the term phenotypic gene expression. OK, let's get started. The term gene expression describes the process by which functional products are made from genes. Let's have a quick recap of the mechanisms of gene expression. These fall into two main stages. The first stage is known as transcription. Transcription involves the production of RNA from a gene. The second stage is called translation. Translation involves the production of proteins by ribosomes, using RNA made in transcription as a template. If you've checked out our lessons on protein synthesis, all of this is probably sounding pretty familiar. If you're thinking that gene expression sounds like another way of referring to protein synthesis, you would be on the right track. But there is a key difference between the terms. Gene expression does not always result in the production of a protein. Sometimes RNA is not translated because it has a direct functional role in the cell. In this case, the RNA is called functional RNA. One example of a functional RNA is microRNA. This is used to regulate gene expression rather than code for a protein. So we can see that there are two main types of functional gene products, protein and RNA. Gene products are not only classified according to the type of molecule they are, but also the types of functions they perform. We often make a distinction between structural and regulatory genes. The products of regulatory genes, proteins or RNA, are used to control the expression of other genes. They can have an effect on the transcription or translation of other genes. We will take a look at some examples in another video. On the other hand, structural genes produce RNA or proteins which are not directly involved in gene regulation. For instance, metabolic enzymes are a type of structural gene product. They do not directly bind to DNA or regulate the expression of other genes. Instead, they catalyze metabolic reactions in the cell cytoplasm. So, the definition of a structural gene is a gene which codes for a protein or RNA that is not involved in gene regulation. A second way that we can categorize genes is based on whether they are constitutive or non-constitutive. A constitutive gene is one that is always expressed in a particular cell. This is because it is transcribed continually. On the other hand, Non-constitutive genes can be turned on or off by the products of regulatory genes. The fancy way of saying that a gene is switched on is saying that it is induced. When a gene is turned off, we say that it is repressed. Being able to turn genes on and off when they are not needed is useful because it prevents cells from being wasteful. For example, E. coli metabolize simple sugars like glucose and lactose as a source of energy. However, lactose isn't always available, so the E. coli cells do not always need to produce enzymes for breaking down lactose. By repressing the genes for these enzymes when lactose isn't around, E. coli cells can save protein and energy. Okay, we have learnt a bit about how gene expression can be regulated. Now we can start to get to grips with the term phenotypic gene expression. We know what gene expression means. It is a term which describes the process by which functional products are made from genes. So what does the word phenotypic mean? In biology, the term phenotype means the observable physical and physiological traits of an organism. Therefore, the term phenotypic gene expression describes the relationship between gene expression and the observable traits of an organism. For instance, there is a species of lotus which sometimes produces red flowers and other times white flowers. The lotus plants belong to the same species and all inherit the same gene for producing red pigment in their petals. However, 
Some lotus plants do not express the red pigment gene, meaning that they end up with white flowers. We can see that even if two organisms have the same gene, if that gene is expressed differently, the observable trait might be different. The phenotypic expression of genes depends on factors which control transcription or translation. Shutting off transcription will stop the production of RNA or protein gene products. Shutting off translation will not have an effect on RNA levels, but it will stop proteins from being produced from the gene. What sorts of factors change the phenotypic expression of genes? As we have just seen, the products of regulatory genes can be used to change the transcription and translation of other genes. In addition, the transcription and translation of genes can also be influenced by the environment. For instance, research has suggested that when we eat certain fatty acids, they can be taken up into cells and change the activity of transcription factors. The term phenotypic gene expression is going to be important for when we get round to learning about epigenetics, so keep it in mind. If you are still a bit confused, check out our other lesson on genotypes and phenotypes. All right, let's wrap up. During this video, we have learnt some new key definitions relating to gene expression. These key definitions have been structural gene, regulatory gene, constitutive gene and non-constitutive gene, and phenotypic gene expression. We have learnt that the products of regulatory genes are used to regulate the expression of other genes. In addition, the environment can influence the phenotypic expression of genes. However, some genes aren't turned on and off, and these are known as constitutive genes. That's all for this video. Join us again soon, where we will be learning a bit more about how gene expression is regulated. Bye!